Welcome to this video. We are in the Kruger National Park, which is so exciting. It's my one of my favorite places in South Africa. So yeah, follow along on the journey. I'm excited. <laughs> you know you're in Africa when. Look at this little thing. That's not a little thing. That's a big swear word, not swear word. Baboon! <laughs> So tonight we are staying at Tambuti <laughs> Tambuti Tented Camp, which is one of my favorite temp camps in the park because this is why you are literally in the bush, just surrounded by like naturalness, which is very cool. There is thankfully a fence up here, but this is a dry riverbed, so later on. There's normally like hyenas that walk the fence, which is pretty cool, pretty freaky, but still pretty cool. So yeah. Just a simple tent. I would refer to this as glamping because I didn't have to put up the tent, but still very basic. Two beds, a fan because it's incredibly hot and some cupboards. So, yeah, pretty much all you need. Okay, so it is, the Kruger National Park is a malaria zone and because it's September and super hot, this is how we demosquitify, pretty much. Gonna spray the room with some doom and then spray ourselves with some mosquito repellent as well. too hot to cover up but normally as the evening gets darker long sleeves and long pants but we're gonna put some peaceful sleep on so the sleeves don't bite us <coughs> don't breathe it in So Bobby on a baboon. Okay, bra, burros, which is like South African sausage, lamb chops, super big here, yummy yum. We got some butter, cheese, um, mushrooms in tin foil there, and then some um, potatoes in tin foil down at the bottom. They look like holes right now. But yeah, yeah, should I make a video for foreigners on how to bry like a South African? I think that might be a good idea because you can't come to the Kruger not bry. Hey. Looking for some animals. Yeah, pretty gloomy day today. But 
but that means it's not going to be as hot, which means that the animals won't be hiding necessarily, let's hope. So, yeah, just hoping for some good animal sighting. Okay, what are we hoping to see today? Wild dog. Wild dog. Cheetah. Cheetah. Leopard. Lion. No elephants. Oh, come <laughs> on. It is love you, Casey. No. Uh, rhino. Honey badger. Mum wants to see a honey badger. Oh, Angular. look, there's a, what's that? A, a wildebeest. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yes. Next to the road. Look at me. Gunny, 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 gunny. Lions, it's lions. Wow, 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 guys. We're on a lion sighting right now. They just ran across the road. Fuck yeah. She's she pregnant. They're hunting. Look on your side. They're on your side. South Africa's most loved three biscuits. That's that one. Totally bad. Okay, I might have thought we saw it heater earlier and we didn't. But now we have. Look at it. which is really unique. You really don't often see cheetahs. They're very like, very, very rare. Yeah. So, um, very lucky there's apparently two. We can only see one right now. I'm hoping that the second one comes up the bushes, comes and meets up with his friend. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. Only two cars sitting watching it is very, very unique. So, throw in some interesting facts about a cheetah. Uh, not a leopard. Cheetahs have tears and their spots are different. A leopard spot is like a spot inside a spot where cheetahs is just a solid spot. And they're a lot smaller as well. Obviously the fastest land animal. So very, very fast in short, short spurts. Um, reason there's not very many of them is because the predator is a lion and lions commonly will steal their food or even just eat them or eat the babies of the cheetahs so yeah not very many of them so this is a very cool sighting <laughs> Sighting, but this is what you call an African traffic jam. Yeah, Kruger traffic jam, where everybody wants to obviously see you, so then everybody just like blocks up the road, nobody can go in both directions. Like, number one of the top rules of the park will just common courtesy, I suppose. Stay on the side of the roads at the viewing spot and have your turn to see. Don't be like these stupid people. What did you say? Leopard has rosettes, cheetah has spots. So a leopard does not have spots? No. 
Sheesh. Coming at you live with the bush knowledge. <laughs> So we're going to go chill and then head out a bit later for a nice sunset drive. Um, this, folks, is why you don't drive through thorn trees in the Kruger. I should feel bad uploading all this footage because I think I'm setting like unrealistic expectations for the Kruger. <laughs> Some people come and don't even and spend like five days here and don't even see a lion. And we've seen so much already in just one day. Cheetah, lion and leopard, like more than one lion sighting as well. So it's pretty cool, but we're now ending of the day. There are some impala there. Waiting to see if anything will like hop out the bush. It's 5 30, the gates close at 6. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. You're doing it wrong. <laughs>
fact that this is not a zoo, okay? <laughs> that this is just incredible luck. Uh, we just got told by a, a passerby that there are a pack of wild dogs down the road here. Uh, also one of the most rare sightings in the park is only about like 120 wild dogs in the entire park so to see them is pretty incredible. So <laughs> let's go! This is incredible. <laughs> okay, this is the gate. Down at the bar to the Kruger. Until next time, I hope you had a great time and enjoyed the video. And stay tuned because there will be more Kruger vlogs in the next couple of weeks. So, bye!